Creating WP data tables based on XML input. Uh, what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. This is a language and this is a format that basically powers everything on the web because even HTML, which is used for all web pages, is a special case of XML. Also, most of online and off online uh, platforms support XML and use XML for storing data, for exchanging data for uh, remote API calls. And of course, uh, we couldn't avoid supporting XML in our uh, WP data tables system. So uh, we are not going to stop in detail in, on XML format. If you're interested, there are really a lot of information online. You can Google it. You can see on the Wikipedia or what, wherever. Uh, we will just explain what format uh, of XML is supported by WP data tables and how to create a table in WordPress using uh, XML input. We have prepared this sample file and we are going to use it to explain you uh, how to format your XML so it could be used with WP data tables. So this is the first thing that we need to mention. Not every XML, not any custom XML URL or output can be used in WP data tables. At least for now, we are going to investigate and uh, maybe develop more sophisticated functionality here. But for now, the XML output needs to follow exactly this format. If you can see, we have a parent node, then a number of child nodes, and each child nodes, each of the child nodes has a set of attributes, which has to be the same in every child node. Uh, I mean, it should have the same names, same number. It can be that the first child node has five attributes, the second three attributes, and it can be that the child node has uh, grandchildren itself. The reason uh, why we have this strict format is then is that uh, this way WP data tables can easily see that each of these nodes is a row and each of these attributes uh, contains the values for the cells. So attribute names will be written, uh, will be read as column names and the values of the attributes will be used for cell values. So you see we have cars root node and a number of child nodes called car and we have in each of these child nodes four attributes called make, displacement, HP and ear. So it's not that complicated, but before you try to create an uh, XML based WP data table, please check that it follows exactly this format, otherwise uh, it will not work correctly. Other, other thing I would like to mention here is that there is a certain limit uh, of rows in the table that can be generated from XML based source. I'd say it's something like two, three thousand, maybe a little bit more, because when it gets larger, uh, it gets slower and slower because WP data tables needs to connect to the URL, fetch the data, parse the XML file, prepare the table, send it to the client's browser, then the client's browser needs to parse all the rows and prepare the uh, interactive table. So it's not a problem when it's a couple of thousands of rows, but when it gets more, you will need to either uh, migrate it all to MySQL or prepare some kind of caching that would fetch once a day, for example, data from your XML input, place it in the MySQL table, and then you can use this MySQL table to create a WP data table with server-side processing. We have a separate video tutorials on server-side processing and prepare WP data tables based on MySQL queries with server-side processing. So you can uh, take a look at these as well. So to create a WP data table based on this XML, first we need to prepare it. So I consider this done. 
You can also download this XML file from our website to repeat the steps or you can just use this URL. Uh, it's also provided in the text version of the docs. So we will just go ahead, copy it and go to our uh, WordPress admin dashboard. Here we need to go to WP data tables, add from data source. Let's call our table XML video tutorial. Okay, now we need to select the table type and we can use XML file. Then we just paste the URL that we just copied. We don't need to do anything else. If you're interested, you can make the table responsive right away or for example, disable hiding the table until the page is completely loaded. We have separate tutorials on each of the table features. I will not stop on these right now. Uh, now we just need to click save. And when we click save, WP Data Tables will read this URL. We'll see if it's correct XML and if it can parse it to be, uh, to, um, for a table to be used in the table and if ever, everything is fine it will create the column blocks down here so let's try and click save it's loading and if we don't see any error right away it means that it works fine okay so there are our columns um, basically the table is already ready to use but let's make some fine tuning in terms of filtering. So uh, for the year, let's say that it's a string so that formatting wouldn't be applied to this. Then let's set filter type to select box. Let's say that horsepower, horsepower uh, can be filtered by a number range and then displacement also a number range column type is float but let's add display text after L because displacement stands for leaders let's click save once again then we can click on preview to see how the table will look in the front end okay so you see uh, yeah, maybe we could also add one more filter for the make column. It would be nicer to have it as um, select box two. Preview once again. Okay, so uh, it fetched all the data from our XML and prepared this nice table that we can filter and sort. And we can say we are interested only only in BMWs that started uh, at two liters till three that have less than, let's say, 200 horsepower. Okay, so you see that it's using our XML as a data source, but it created an interactive table that we can now use in our WordPress site and to do this we just need to uh, insert it in our post or page so to do this we can copy this short code here and paste it in the page or even easier we can go to our page or create a new one or create a new post uh, call it somehow and let's say cars database you just place uh, the text cursor where we want the table to be. We find the insert the WP data table button, we click it. Then in this drop down, we need to find the table that we just created, which is XML video tutorial. Okay, and it inserts, inserts the short code for us. Now we just need to publish and then open this page in the front end. Here it is, the table that we just created. So that's it. Just to repeat the most important part, uh, please check the format of your XML before trying to insert it to WP data tables. The format should be like this. So it's just one level 
uh, it's, it should have a root node and a number of child nodes and the child node should have the same structure of attributes and that's it. Thanks for watching, see you in next tutorials. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.